Hi folks! New week! New You Don't Know Jack! Let's go! This is 30 seconds, folks! Hey, it's me, Donnie, and let me be among the first to wish you a most joculent and exorbitant New Year's Day. May I request to know how many players are ready and thrilling? Ah, the single player experience. Why not? Go ahead and typo in your name. No. Well, I'm not calling you blank. That's ridicule. Why not? Ness. Yep, I'm calling you late for dinner. I am. Great, now so. I get to tell you the institutional. You will see a question. When you know the answer in serpitude, select the boutonniere next to it. There will be a timer counting down, so the more harried your actions, the more money you'll get. <laughs> or surrender. Okay, you're ready on set. Ten seconds. Guest of luck. Bloody terror check. <laughs> Six, five, four, it's no time for the jack attack yet. Oh well. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and by this time tomorrow I should be halfway to Brazil, well beyond the reach of the law. No friends, huh? Would you just get out of prison? And your wrong it's answer the game is being sponsored game. by Felt Up Hand Puppet Lube. Now with a tingling sensation to let you know it's working. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to tingling. get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. Tingling no bueno. So let's make this happen. First question. Ah! I'm free! Free falling! You know that John Mayer song, Gravity? I don't, but it probably goes something like Neither do la, I. la la la, something your body is something, yeah. Let's say that Gravity awesome. is working against John Mayer because he fell out of a hot air balloon. Ignoring air resistance, which of these statements is true? John Mayer falls at a constant speed of 9.8 meters per second. It takes John Mayer 9.8 seconds to hit the ground. John Mayer accelerates at 9.8 meters per second squared. Or John Mayer weighs 9.8 kilograms during the free fall. I'm pretty sure I'm that's the acceleration. Out. On Earth, free-falling objects will accelerate at a rate of 9.8 meters per second squared. And we could finally know once and for all if his body truly is a wonderland. Once the coroner finishes the autopsy. Would there be an autopsy? How's the death is pretty evident. Open wide for... A chicken of a different color. I just got back from Panda Express. Today I had the orange chicken and mandarin chicken. Yesterday I had the orange chicken and kung pao chicken. Tomorrow I think I'll have the orange chicken and the sweet and sour chicken. Anyway, I got this fortune cookie here. Ah, I haven't seen one of these in a while. Okay. Mm. Mm. Always remember to look at yourself. Oh. Oh, who would totally love this fortune? Narcissus, Gaia, Echo, or Calliope? Yeah, Narcissus. In Greek mythology, Narcissus fell in love with his own reflection in a pond, so he always remembered to look at himself. And I always remember to look at myself. It's why I have my toilet bowl chromed. That would not be where I'd want to see my face. Just saying. Coming up, the Moly Trinity. Which of these left-leaning mold celebrities might be mistaken for a mole for the right because the mole is on the right side of their face? Robert De Niro, Barack Obama, Cindy Crawford, or Marilyn Monroe? Hmm, I don't know. Eh, not a clue. The side her mole is on is the left, just like your answer, the opposite of right. <laughs> Watch how easy this is. Robert De Niro's beautiful blemish is on his right cheek. Moles can be confusing. I was watching Goodfellas for an hour before I realized it wasn't a speck on my TV screen. He really doesn't move much in that movie. <laughs> and now, a cult favorite. And it's time for a dis or dat. Awesome music. I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's a religious cult or a location in the Chronicles of Narnia. If it's a cult, press oh one. Lord. If it's a location in the Chronicles of Narnia, press the number two. Get one right, and you'll be drinking $300 worth of Kool-Aid. 
Get one wrong and you'll see 300 bucks magically vanish. And you've only got 30 seconds. All right, let's get started. World's End. Heaven's Gate. The Solar Temple. Lone oh. Island. Urantia. Stable Hill. Deep Realm. Aw, oh, five again. You transcended your body, but to a magical star known as So-So Iris. Yeah. I'm thinking of starting my own cult. If you sign over your worldly possessions to me, I can not only make sure that you know Jack, but that you come to accept him as your personal savior. You know, given some of the other choices out there. Next up, excuse me, this frontal lobe is undercooked. If a zombie ate three pounds of my brain, what might I yell? Ah, you ate a quarter of my brain! Oh, ah, you ate half of my brain! Ah, you ate 75% of my brain! Or nothing because he ate my entire brain. All of your bad guessing is starting to make my brain hurt. Why didn't you pick this? The average human brain weighs about three pounds. Let's see Darn if that's it. true. Bring me an intern. You asked for somebody, sir? Hi, Josh. Could you stand here real still for a minute? Sure, Mr. Masterson. I was hoping for something okay, there, let's but put this no. On the scale. I well, how was about wrong. that? Three pounds. Hmm, I probably should have put a tarp down first. Tarp would have been Round useful. one is in the books. And you're in pretty good shape for now. Don't forget, all the questions in round two are worth double. And hint, hint, the wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting for you. Let's see what's in store. Here we have, don't stare directly at the juice glass. What would kids say about the great taste of Sunny D if it had the same main ingredient as the actual sun? Mmm, tastes like hydrogen. That's good helium. You can really taste the nitrogen. Or, Mom, more sulfur, please. What is the main ingredient in the sun? Hydrogen? What is hydrogen? The, the sun is made up predominantly of hydrogen. Yeah. Kids might also say, Ah! It burns with the intensity of a thousand explosions! Or it tastes like plasma, one of the two. And on its way, you lipos suck. So, I've had a little work done. Can you tell? What would be the most accurate compliment to pay someone who had a little nip-tuck pointing done? Her skin is as smooth as glass. What? He has abs of steel. She's built like a brick house. Or wow, did you have plastic surgery? Okay, what is tuck pointing? I've never heard of it. Huh. Uh, plastic. Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> the correct answer is... You know those guys up on scaffolding who repair the mortar between bricks? They're tuck pointing. Yeah. Okay. Word of advice. Make sure you find an experienced brick layer, or you'll end up tuck pointing in all the wrong directions. Lord, it also sounds mean. Oh, Say hello to I'm so hungry I could choke a horse. Sorry, hold on, I'm uh, calling the sandwich shop to place an order. Oh, hi, Gus. This is Cookie here at the studio, and I... Yeah, what you want? Very busy here. Right, sorry. What's the special today? Special is Hercules Choice. You want it? Hmm. Gus says today's special is Hercules Choice. If I want to make the same choice that Hercules made, what should I order? The Parmesan Pleasure Panini? The famous French frites? The Vegan Virtue Veggie Soup? Or Brawn on a Bun? The Choice. I don't know enough about the Hercules myth, but Hercules is a big, strong guy, so we will go with Brawn. Did Hercules pick Brawn, Gus? Uh, the huh? What? No. It's so obvious. Vegan virtue veggie soup. Hercules choose virtue, so the gods make him immortal. Oh, by the way, he'd come with side of curly fries. Well, Gus, I'm not a curly vegan, but that soup tasty. does sound good, so... Hello? 
Guys? No, we always seem to get cut off. Hmm. This one's called Tattoo. What would it look like if French actress Audrey Tattoo got a tattoo of Audrey Two? A distant star on her butt cheek, a carnivorous plant on her ankle, an animated cocker spaniel on her lower back, or a doomed boat on her breast? Yeah, Audrey Two was Little Shop of Horror, so... Audrey Two is the dangerous singing plant with a taste for human blood from the musical Little Shop of Horrors. God, I hope I didn't miss the And the best way to show off Audrey Tattoo's ankle cheek. tattoo of Audrey Two is if she wore a tutu. Hold me, never let me go. That one just occurred to me. It actually could count. How about they gave Kenny a horrible disorder? You bastards! Which South Park character appears to suffer from hydrocephalus? Mr. Hanky, Mr. Slave, Mr. Hand, or Mr. Mackey? Okay, it would be Mr. Mackey, but Mr. Hand, come on. Ready for this? Hydrocephalus causes enlargement of the head due to excess fluid buildup, and Mr. Mackey has an enormous head. Hydrocephalus can be a serious condition, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he's going to be okay. No, Mr. Hand is a hand puppet. Which will come in handy with your brand new hand puppet lube from the folks at Felt Up Hand Puppet Lube. Goodbye chapping, never get caught red-handed again. Today's wrong answer of the game is accompanied by an $8,000 cash bonus. Have at it. You know, I don't remember Mr. Hand. I remember Mr. Hat. And another knife. Nice. Step right up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, press the number one. 4,000 big ones if you're right. 4,000 gone if you're wrong. And don't forget... Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. You're my number one fans. I'd like to thank my fan club, the Cookie Munchers. No. Oh. Yeah, these would be deadheads. Okay. Although I don't know if I'm gonna know very many of these. We'll see. Insane clown posse. Not jugglers, although that's close. Freaking game trying to trick me. Clay Aiken? Clay Aiken? Really? They actually have a name for his... Clay Make... I have no words. Fish. What are fish fans called? Fish fans. That works. Uh, that, that works. Jimmy Buffett or Parrot Heads. Lady Gaga. The little monsters, I believe, is what she typically calls her. White stripes have a what? Where do these people? It's not the Wu Tang Kids. Oh, I didn't get a chance to get that one back. Darn it! That's all she wrote. Here's the note I have in front of me. Cookie, say something complimentary about the player's awesome score. Hey, thanks guys. You guys are the best writers ever. Yeah, what the hell, just have Cookie do it. Yeah, you guys just take another three hour lunch break, no problem. I'll sit here and do your job for you. Yeah, oh, and while I'm at it, could you please? You don't know hey, it yet. worked last week. Good job, everyone. Donnie, what are we doing? Hey, are you eagle to play another round? Do you have too many yeah, shells? Yeah, but I don't want. Don't know what to do with them. You know the well, whole time to put group your taking on the shelf. you know a few hours off seemed shelves. to work last time. Shelf oh well. Are made exclusively for shelving shelves. Yeah, shelf oh. shelf shelves up to twelve shelves per shelf. That's a lot. I had of no shelf idea shelf there were life. actual really named fan don't groups for some of those shelves. people. Buy shelf wow. Today and do really, Clay Aiken has his own fan group that has its own name. Really? 
I ruined such really? a primal sport by gingerly Clank putting your fingers really? through the ball like a dainty little schoolgirl. Okay. Introducing fistable bowling equipment anyway, for the dude who takes on the See you all again first. next week we for more all of our balls, You Don't Know Jack. Shoes, so they fit As always, perfectly, and leave you the commercials. Right down to the business of punching Take out care, a game. Wow, nice frame, mister. Out of my way. Fistable Bowling Equipment Incorporated. When life gives you a 7-10 split, punch it hard. This Monday, catch the season 6 premiere of Farting with the Stars. And this season, we've got our most star-studded cast ever. C. Helen Hunt. Jim Caviezel, Leonard Nimoy, the guy from that one medical show, and the girl from that movie with the guy from Scrubs. It's gonna be big, it's gonna be hot, and it's not gonna smell good. It's Farting with the Stars, where the only thing louder will be the roar of the crowd. Monday at, whoop, excuse me, Monday at 7, be there. Celebrity Farts Impersonated. Do my bangs look better swept this way? Or that way? Um, probably that way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This exchange has been brought to you by the Council for Overheard Doing Conversations. One ticket to bloody bloody murder, please. Wait a minute. How old are you? Seventeen. I don't believe you. You look six. Aw, man, shucks. Hey, kid, if you want to seem older and get into R-rated movies, you gotta smell older. Here, try a bottle of Old Man Essence. Hey, me! One ticket to bloody, bloody murder, please. You have the mature smell of mothballs and elderly B.O. Sorry about before. Thanks! It's thanks, old man! Remember, kids, buy old man essence so you too can smell old enough to live! I'm so embarrassed, Barbara. I just don't know why this is happening to me. Maybe it's time we considered getting a little help. What about a prescription drug? Or maybe I should just put my dick in a splint. Trouble chubbing up? Scared of pills? Now there's help from Professor Willie's Dingle Splints. The only $5.99 over-the-counter solution for erectile dysfunction. Thank you so much, honey. Don't thank me. Thank Professor Willie. Professor Willie's Dingle Splints. Getting wood the old-fashioned way. Great party, Sarah. Oh, thanks. I've got to ask, though, what's with the mysterious box? Oh, that's a mysterious box from Mysterious Boxes Incorporated. What's in it? Honestly, I've always been a little too afraid to open it, but it makes a wonderful conversation piece. Do you mind if I open it? Well, why not? I've already led a pretty full life. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh. Well, that's kind of yeah. Mysterious Boxes Incorporated. There will come a time when one will be delivered to you. you, 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 you. Hello, I'm Nick Bear, and I'm not here to sell you anything. I used my own money to buy some advertising time to let the world know that I hate Jeff Hansen. This isn't a tricky 